everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Some Nose, man. Hashtag Farm Some Nose. Today, we've got 22 PC mods at testing. We got 17 console mods at testing. With all those 36 were released today. Goodness gracious. CNH Mining updates us on the Plague or Outlaw. Carl Farms has a new Steiger, and it's ridiculous. Inside Design and Farm Central Saw are working on a new tractor. JHHG. DB120. JA Modding's got new screenshots of his Case IH planter. Mio2 Modding's John Deere planter is with Giants for testing. Servertex is updating their Gigante trailer. AAA Modding have new screenshots from their next mod. Ada Modding is updating the Joskin Wago Pack. FDR Logging have a big update coming out tomorrow. Edo Mod has added some new things to his map, Map Italia. Plus, White Bull Modding have yet another new screenshot from their next map, Richport. Let's check it out. It's ST4 PC. We have the Case IH AFS Connect Steiger series. We're going to talk about this one later. Ben Favorite 500. Alaris OCTO 1500. John Deere 750A. Cogerling Sterno Pack. L116. Lizard Sleeza 1000. Load King Flatbed. New Decoration Pack. Player Position Saver. Aggressive Steering. Grass Fit. Robert DRB. Shed. Shed for Bells. Sleep Anytime. Small Garage. Superhead Stubble Master 730. Straw Me. Table. Saw, Timber Runner for Unitrack, and Weight Station. It's SD4 consoles. We have Concrete Rollers Pack, Dutch Colony, Oil Bell Spike Pack, John Deere Windrower, K258, Leverse Del Nord, Lizard Field Bin, Lizard M3, Lizard NS900H, Milk Canister, Placeable Animated Pack, Roadrunner Plus, Self Made Weight Pack, Silo for Crops, Silo Bag, that's interesting, Small Open Building, and Wooden Shed Pack. With all that being said, we still have 103 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is five work days. In addition to the mods and testing, 36 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub, including a testing map that anyone can use and the update to the TLX 9000 semi-truck. I've already made a video showing all of these off in detail, and you can find that video linked in the description below. Lots of you guys have been asking about the Plager Outlaw, and today's CNH modding brings us an update on the progress of it and what there is to do next. He said hopefully soon he's going to be getting back into the swinging things, but today, what's on the table? First off, he's been working on the Outlaw recently. He's got a few animations that he needs to see if he can fix or do away with completely before it is sent off to testing for all platforms. Then, adjust the colors on the color set. Other than that, just got to save the texture files in the correct format. And secondly, the Dimco 42. He's going to be getting an update for that as well with the proper connection hoses to go with the Plager Outlaw. Also looking at adding configurable marker lights to the trailer. Might even add a few other custom parts that he made for it as well. Currently unsure of that though. Last night, super late, I released a video. It's like 10.30 my time, which rarely happens. And it is the Case IH AFS Connect Steiger Series by Carl Farms. Now, this is currently in testing right now for PC players. Once finished, it will move over to console testing and then be released for all platforms. He says, the AFS Connect Quad and Road Track are both equipped with independently oscillating tracks to help maintain contact in rough terrain, as you can see here in the video. This, this mimics the Case IH design in real life, and these are now the third and fourth tractors in Farming Simulator to include this type of track system, the first two being his older gen Quadrac and his 8RX, both track systems he also made. This track system was a first for Farming Simulator when he made it on his original Quadrac and is one of the features that he is most proud of so far in his modding career, and I have to say it is absolutely stunning the way these things function on the roughest terrain even, even on the smoothest ground. It's just just drives like nothing else. Says it may not look like it, but it's very complicated to get this system to work the way that it does. He had to improve it even more with the AFS Steiger series, and now the inner track components get dirty at the same rate as the belt tracks. Says that was a eureka moment in itself. These mods are currently in testing with Giants right now, and hopefully soon we will see them for everyone. Inside Design 3D and Farm Citrus Soul have something for us today. They say the new Holland T8 series Brazil and Harrow Lizard Santa Isabel. These are going to be the Gassy 36 and 48 models. They say both of these coming soon to PC, Mac, Xbox, and PlayStation. JHHG Modding brings us some information today on the big boy, the John Deere DB120 48 row 30 inch 2012 model. Before we even talk about this, I want to let you guys know that he has said no information about platforms or release dates. So we don't know if this is PC only. We don't know if this is going to be on platforms. 
It is just getting started and it is exciting. I just want to let you know that this is the 120 foot, aka 36 and a half meter wide DB120 from John Deere, holding frame equipment with the 48 Max Emerge 5 row units with optional smart boxes connected with the CCSC delivery tanks and liquid fertilizer tanks to give you 100 BU, aka 3,524 liter seed capacity. That is ton. Lots of realistic detail. All the work that should be done real life. He said over 1,000 movable elements in each store configuration. Again, no information about platforms or release dates. JHHG Monty goes on to say that the progress for this DB120 from 2012 says the proper model of it's about 90% done. UDIM, again, 90% done there. Decals are 100% completed. Programming and scripting, 90%. And the dynamic hoses are about 70% completed. Over the past two weeks, their team has been working hard on the DB90 2004, the 8RT 2010, the Big Buds, and the JM Green Carts. But they have also been focusing in quiet on this massive, absolutely gorgeous planter that you guys are seeing. They say there is still lots of work to be done, but you can see the first in-game screenshots from all of this that they've put together. Lots of details will change, and they will probably post these changes on their Facebook page once they get uh, get everything done. I will be updating you guys once they make these changes, or you can check them out for yourself at the link below. But that's not the only planter that we're going to talk about today. Team Red has one in their corner as well from JA Modding. This is right here, finally finished. He says the finally finished personal model, and this is the result. Now, it's onto the hard work, the normal map textures, and to perfect the model and make everything work great in game. This is being made for all platforms. And something that is awaiting testing right now for all platforms, jumping back over to the green team, is the John Deere CCS 2113 Cedar from Neo2 Monty, currently sitting with Giants awaiting testing. It's been a little while since we've heard from Zervertex, and today we get some information on their transporter Lizard Gigante 22000 BR. They say they're working on an update to this. The update will trigger couplings for the air and electric hoses on the front, and the rear coupling that is already has the six hydraulic hoses will be fixed if you want a hitch and a trailer as well and also electric and air. Also is adding another hitch system to the front so that you can also take this with a cane harvester that contains the rear coupler. Remembering that it's not recommended to take a harvester due to its height, but hey, hey it'll work a little bit, right? I love this trailer. It's one of my favorite trailers in game. AAA Mining update us today on some sugar beet stuff that they've been working on. Previously, we talked about a topper and a harvester, but today we see the loading pickup thing. <laughs> Kind of like the one that we just got done with the Potato DLC. This is the Harara Super FS19. They see the model is finished. The way this is going to work is it will pick the sugar beets off the ground and it will transport them into a trailer that is driving beside it. Ada Monning is going to be updating his Joskin Wago pack to version 1. He says slot counts for console players will be lowered. And with this, change the 1.1, reduce the file size of the mod, removed excess parts, and fix the blurry decals on the sides of the trailers. Tomorrow on Wednesday, February the 3rd, FDR Logging are going to be releasing some new stuff. They say in the update, they were able to address several issues they'll be releasing tomorrow. The biggest one being the log handling issues as the claws and attachments seemed a little bit underweighted and flimsy when trying to move logs. This has all now been corrected. Not only do the grapples work extremely well and much better than they did before, but they accidentally found a way to increase the operation of the buncher heads as well while experimenting, which is awesome. I love doing stuff like that. They say you will see a night and day difference in bunching, processing, and loading and handling with the new update. Also in this update, you've got sound effects volumes that have been increased as well as new sounds and fixes that have been added. And the skitters have gotten the new screaming engines back in place as he had a lot of people that missed the sounds while doing drags. Also, the machines will all be updated to the new brand colors, along with various other little changes and fixes. As you know, we've talked about Edo Mod and their new map, Mappa Italia, that they're working on with some other really big name modders and creators in Farming Simulator. Well, they say in these screenshots right here, you can see they've added a few pointers to help players enjoy 100% of the map. What this is going to do is going to make things nice and easy for you, since there's some new things that you may have never seen before. This is going to be one of, if not the most up-to-date, I guess, <laughs> map. It's going to be an extremely, incredibly detailed. Um, very rarely do we throw around perfect map. Everything has flaws, but at least the design of this map is darn near perfect. You can see that through these thumbnails. So I'm really excited to see what they bring us next.
And lastly, today we get a new screenshot from White Bull Modding on their next map, Richport. This is a new American map being created for all platforms. And here you can see we've got the new gas station. Feels a little bit expensive to be fair. <laughs> Hopefully that is like euros. No, that's definitely American dollars because it's a US map. That is quite high even for 2009 standards. That's ridiculous. But nonetheless, here is a new beautiful screenshot for a new USA map that is currently in development for all platforms. But unfortunately, this episode of Farm Some News has finished its development, but just like every episode of Farm Some News, leaks to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording on that topic. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel for new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Hey. Last week, my dad had some surgery and he's having a hard time recovering. So you know what, dad? This shirt is for you.